Right, hello everybody. Happy on Brew Wednesday to you. Uh, I think this will be a short one. I know I say it every week, but pretty sure this will be pretty short because I haven't really got that much to uh, update you on. Uh, we're going to have a beer because uh, I've got quite a few uh, home brews in my fridge at back at bar, what people have sent me, and I need to start getting through them. Uh, so if you have sent me any beers in the last month or two uh, and you've not seen me review them or drink them in an homebrew Wednesday, uh, they're still there, still behind bar, and I'm going to do a couple tonight. Uh, and the one I'm going to have in this little video, we're going to have, I think everybody knows who that is, Crew Wolf, Mark. We're going to do his mojito wisen, uh, and I know quite a few of you have had one of these, and I'm looking forward to it because I like my wheat beers and what have you. And this cap is definitely a saver. I can get it off without damaging. And hang on. Pick it up right. It's about time I got some uh, personalised caps. Anyway, yeah, I can smell lemon from there. Just give you a quick rundown of what he's got in it. He's got wheat malt, Manisota, pale ale malt. Hops, Mochi Waker, Rivarian Wheat Yeast, uh, Lemon Zest in secondary, a fantastically refreshing wheat beer made with real lemon zest. And it's quite a good label, which I think I should be able to peel off and stick it up on uh, rafters of my roof like I did with the one he sent me because they're worth saving now I'll do it half and half I'll do quick taste without and then I'll drop his yeast in so you can see it's hang on I'm getting rid of them bubbles see it's a fairly clear beer without his yeast thrown in and yeah there's definitely a, a zesty smell to it and it's fairly well carbonated as well so we'll go in cheers everybody Cheers, Matt. That's lovely. And it is, it is refreshing. It's uh, got that citrus, that lemon bite. Definitely that, when you bite into a lemon, That sourness is there, but mild, really, really mild. Really delicate. That is one good beer. We'll just drop his... Uh I'm not too sure, but I think this was partly an experiment more than anything, if I'm right. And if it was, it's definitely worked. Am I sat in the shadow here? I think I am, I don't know. Anyway. And straight away, as soon as that yeast's gone in, 
it just intensified everything. Like it says on back, a fantastically refreshing wheat beer. And I can't agree more. Nice sunny day, that'd be spot on. So you've seen Mark's beer, and it's a top beer it is, like that. And while we're on about home brews, uh, I've just sent my flag out to uh, another person to sign, and I've now sent it out because I've got some half decent beers now that I've done. I'm starting to send my flag with a bottle of beer as a thank you uh, for your signing it. So I'll have the first one today. So excuse me anybody that's already signed it I'll be sending you don't think I you know I forgot you in order that you signed it I'll start sending uh, some bottles of beer out to you as a thank you uh, and some of you will be getting some of you will just get the one bottle or one or two will get a beer mail uh, like I promised so that's my homebrew related uh, beer mail. And that's it, I've not brewed. I've just bottled me uh, chocolate milk stout, that's bottled up now. Me uh, mosaic IPA, that's bottled. Me all grain wheat beer, that's bottled and about half of them have gone. <laughs> Uh, so I have three pretty solid beers, well, I'm saying pretty solid beers, if I'm honest, I haven't, since I bottled them, I haven't had the Mosaic or the uh, Stout, I haven't tried one yet, but I did try them when I bottled them, and you can usually tell at that stage if they're going to be alright, and I think that Stout is going to be top notch. Mosaic, I think it's going to be good, but I think the milk chocolate stout is going to be spot on so I'll give them another two or three days and then I'll try them and if they're good enough uh, I'll start and send odd bottle out uh, and that's it brewing wise there's nothing else I've uh, a few bits I'm going to have a look at see if I can do what I said before clear out all my odds and ends try and do some sort of brew like that. Uh, I'm going away in a few days for a, a week. Uh, well, me wife and daughter are. Son's not, he's, he's staying at home, he's got work and what have you. <laughs> Come get time off. And I think that's it, fellas. Uh, it was just a short one, just to let you know I'm still here. Uh, I have a few videos that are part done. I've got a grain to glass of the oatmeal stout. I'm just waiting for it to condition good enough so I can do a review up beer on the end of it. Uh, I've just done last week I uploaded if you haven't seen it my latest build it video. Uh, I did a a cat house kennel. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it or not if you want check it out. It's <laughs> I'll put a link on the end of this video to it. Uh, so, and I think that's it. I'm waffling a bit now, so we'll leave it there and I'll go enjoy this beer and I'll catch you all later. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>